feel like I am craving a bit. I'm nervous about that. I might just go home and make my lunch, but it's too early for that. I do have a little bit of my coffee left. Fish, finish that off, and then I have not completed my first 16 ounces of water. I hope that that works. I can do this, guys. We can do it. We can get through it. I can get through it. It's uh, Come on. I guess it's because I've been in such a mindset of just like craving something and then giving in. Like literally just driving from here, I had about four different cravings. Four different like thoughts of what I want to eat. At first it was Starbucks, then it switched to Popeyes, then I started thinking about French fries, and then I started thinking about getting the little um, Cuban um, pastelitos. <laughs> we can do it. We can do this. We can do this. So like the biggest thing for me right now, honestly, with this juice fast is the fact that it is um, seven o'clock basically and I'm still on it. I haven't given in the last like six, five, six months. I've just been giving in. Oh, I passed by a Popeye's. I'm going to get some Popeye's. I passed by any kind of place that serves food. I want it. I want donuts. I want cakes. I want cookies. I want pies. I want I want everything. Chicken. I want fish. I want shrimp lobster breads i've been just saying hell yes to everything so i feel like this is kind of like a reset for me for my mind you know what i mean like i feel like this is going to give me the opportunity to to get back on track to really like get it together because i've just been giving in yeah that's it i'm, I'm a little nervous about day two I'm nervous. I don't know what day two is going to bring, but I know I'm going to try to switch up my ingredients, make some savory stuff. Hopefully it can taste good. We're going to go. We're going to keep it going. Two, we're on, we're entering day two. What's up guys? Good morning. It is Saturday. It's not Saturday. I just woke up. I usually like to wait until I like, okay, this is going to be too much information, but you know we forget so whatever so i usually like to wait until maybe i pee at least two to three times in the morning before weighing myself so that's usually like 10 11 o'clock is Mom, before i eat well, i'm cold I, i'm cold okay. yeah okay so i um oh, i'm gonna go weigh myself okay but it's I'm going to say, forget the peeing six times. This is day two of my fast. Mom, now I keep Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. That amazing in Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. I just wanted to show you guys how strong I have to be while I'm on this smoothie fast in a house 
full of kids and a grown big old six five man who they are not on a smoothie fast. I'm trying to talk. I just wanna show you what they're eating for lunch, okay? We're gonna show you what they're eating. I haven't even eaten lunch yet. It's like 12 o'clock. I'm hungry. I'm not even hungry. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not hungry. I still feel pretty energetic. I'm about to go drink my water, finish off my coffee that I had from earlier, and make some tea. And I'm not even gonna see this food over here. But let me show you what I'm dealing with. Just come with me. Thank you, baby. This is what my fam's eating. You see that? You see that? Back in the front. I am at I'm at Starbucks, not gonna lie to y'all, but listen. I've been really good today. I can have a Starbucks. I've already had my breakfast shake and I have my lunch shake. I'm gonna have a treat today because I am on day two. I'm sorry my face was really ashy. I don't know what's happening. I'm on day two. I have not eaten. My family has had like my some of my favorite foods they've eaten all of it and i've been so good with just being like no no girl you're not eating that so i'm gonna have a little bit of starbucks don't be judging me it's a toasted white chocolate mocha i think i'm just gonna have this starbucks and that's it i really hope it doesn't like like drastically change uh, IGK. Why I can't have the Starbucks? Why y'all doing me like that? Don't, why are you saying that? I'm not gonna do, I'm just gonna have the Starbucks. I'm gonna go home, drink my Starbucks. I'm gonna do a little bit of work and then I'm gonna go to the gym. I was supposed to go earlier, but I went to the store and um, I had to do some stuff for the kids at their school. So I got kind of caught up in that. And now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have the Starbucks. I'm gonna do some work for like maybe an hour, maybe two while I drink the Starbucks. And then I'm gonna go to the gym and burn maybe like 150, 100 calories because I'm not gonna really go too hard. Since I'm like, I haven't eaten, I don't want to overdo it, you know? And then like overexert my body. Still got three days left. I'm so hungry. I'm not gonna lie to you. Day two, I'm super hungry. Day two, I'm hungry, not gonna lie. It's moved past like, feelings of craving and then just like i'm fucking hungry sorry for the cursing i'm hungry so it's like i'm ready to eat i think i can hold out the next three days i, I think i can so that so that tells you then that it's not like exactly it's not like entirely undoable if i'm telling you that yes i'm hungry as hell but i can probably hold out for another two three day three Three days because I'm doing five days. I don't know how many days you you might want to do. If I can hold out for another two or three days, then it must not be that bad because your girl, your girl can eat. I'm and I'm usually eating anywhere between like twelve and two thousand calories per day. So that gives you an idea of, you know. So I'm in bed. Um, I look like crap. My skin feels very irritated. I don't know. I haven't done any like anything today. I feel miserable. I'm hungry. And I hate that I'm hungry because God, I'm only on day three. But I'm let me turn this down. I'm watching freaking Law well, in order. I didn't know Anthony Hamilton or Anderson was on Law and Order. Either way. Um, so yeah. Watching Law and Order, um, Looking like crap. Kids are with their dad for a little bit. Um, I'm glad because they're probably eating a bunch of crap that I can't have anyways. I'm laying on my little couch thingy. What is this called? Like an ottoman? I'm miserable. I want to eat some food. And I know like I'm usually like a kind of person that says listen to your body, but... I feel like I need to break past this point and I need to keep going. So I'm not gonna give up just yet because I just, I'm just i just getting started. It's not that serious. It's day three. I can go tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. I will eat properly, not like, um, not like um, crap. You know, like I'm not gonna go out and buy a 
a chicken sandwich or anything. That's what this is about, really. It's about like relearning the, relearning like, you know, like telling my, learning to tell myself no again, you know, because for like the last four months, maybe even longer, I've just been, I've been just like with the shits, like the shits that's happening in my head. Like, girl, let's go get some Popeyes. Okay, shit. And then after we eat that Popeyes, go get some Krispy Kreme's. All right. And then let's get a Starbucks. Yes. And I got to cut that shit out. That's what this is more about for me. It's not really about the number on the scale. Even though the number on the scale is great. I'm at 197, 198.0. By the way, if anybody cared, um, so I'm thinking tomorrow I'll wake up at a lower weight, but that's not what this is about. It's more about like trying to get my my mind back into losing weight, denying myself of the shit that I cannot have. So I am like, it's, um, it's like eight o'clock. I think I waited too late to eat. I usually already have had my last shake and by now I'm getting in the bed. So I think, wow, I'm just like shaking all over the place. So, I think that I kind of just like fuck myself up by not eating, you know, earlier. But I'm miserable, like I'm hungry. But I think like this is like what my problem is with like my weight loss journey overall is that I, I just give in. Like I, I make bad decisions like I should have eaten before I went to Publix. But again, I mean, I'm not gonna beat myself up. I absolutely, um, I had no more ingredients like all of my ingredients were just completely done like I had no protein powder I had no bananas I had no more mangoes I had no more almond milk which I always have almond milk so yeah I went to Publix and I think that's also it like girl you really should not be going out when you're like hungry like don't leave the house make your meal and that's why preparation is absolute key so I'm just hungry guys and this is probably going to be really short. I did pick up some medjool dates to make with my smoothie tonight. I'm going to try to do some like this little snickerdoodle recipe that I'm going to try to see if it's any good. Um, yeah, I'm like belly touching my back hungry. Like that's how hungry I am. My belly is currently touching my back. I'm, I'm like starved. I'm honestly ready for this to be over with. I think I can probably push out tomorrow, but I can't go any further than that. And then tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is, I still feel very bloated and gassy. I will say that, I do. But tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is, I am going to um, start making my plan. I might even like cook my meals because I know that tomorrow on Saturday, I know that Saturday I'm gonna be like ready to go. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm prepared. Oh, all right, so here we are. It is day five. It is the end of my smoothie fast. No one is more happy than I am. I'm in the gym, I'm about to go do a little session, but I think that I'm going to, after the gym, take some time to figure out what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. I know that tomorrow I'm gonna try to keep it still very light and at about maybe 13 to maybe 1600 calories only because I'm definitely coming to the gym. Um, I'm glad it's over. <sighs> I'm glad it's over. Your girl is hungry. But I am going to go in here, do a little workout and then go home, take care of the other things I need to do, work on. And then that's it. I'm excited that it's done. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm at 196.4. I'm hoping I'll wake up tomorrow at 195. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But I, I appreciate this. It really has given me back the sense of like, I can do it, you know? Like, yeah, I can resist eating um, crap. I can resist snacking. I can resist going to Starbucks or Popeyes or wherever I was going. I can resist. So I'm grateful for that, but I am ready to start 
eating a proper balanced diet. So my arm is killing me. I'm about to go in this gym. In Christmas.